What's up, everybody? This is Kyle Thumb, the solar guy, your solar guy. And today what we're talking about is we're talking about buying solar panels versus leasing solar panels. What's the difference? What does that change? And which one is going to be the preferred option for you and your situation? So let's get to it. So if you're watching this video and if you're really thinking about the differences between buying and leasing solar panels, then most likely you already understand about the financial and environmental benefits to solar. You're ready to make the switch, but you want to make sure that you have everything figured out before you completely decide what direction to go in. So understanding how to finance your system and which one is going to be best for you and your budget is one of the most important things and that's what we're going over in this video. So the first thing you must understand is that there is two main financing options when you're installing a solar energy system. To simplify it, you can either buy the system like you would buy a house or you can lease a system like you would lease an apartment. And both options have a ton of benefits. So first we'll talk about buying your system. Buying your system is the best way to maximize your financial savings and returns. So if you're mainly concerned about the ROI and get saving money immediately and in the long term, then you're definitely going to prefer to buy your system if possible. The reason for that is because when you're buying it, all the savings are coming directly to you. And over the lifetime of your system, you can save upwards of 40 to 70 percent um, on the money that would have been spent on your electric bill. And buying a system can cost on average in the range of between $10,000 and $20,000 after we're able to factor in um, the tax credits and incentives. But if you don't have that kind of money burning a hole in your pocket that you're ready to throw at solar right now, that's perfectly fine. There are specific financial institutions that are in the country that specifically help with solar loans. And the benefit of loans is that you're able to technically own the system and you're able to own it with zero dollars coming out of your pocket. So zero dollars down. And then one of the most important benefits of owning the panels is that you're able to take advantage of the ITC. So ITC stands for investment tax credit and solar has a specific ITC that is for solar. And what this solar ITC does is it allows you to subtract 26% of the cost of your installation from your tax bill. And if your tax bill is actually smaller than the amount that the ITC would be, then that would be actually a situation where you might consider leasing over owning. Leasing is an ideal option if you're concerned about taking out a loan or if you know that your credit card isn't quite high enough to qualify for the financing. And the difference between leasing and owning is when you're leasing, you're signing an agreement with the company and the company maintains ownership of the panels. And then in exchange for your new set monthly rate, your monthly payment, they're going to install the panels onto your property and you're gonna be able to enjoy and use the electricity produced by them um, as long as the agreement remains active. Another situation where lease may be more optimal compared to purchasing is if you're someone who is very concerned with um, the warranty and the durability of the panels. And if you're really worried about maintenance and stressing out over maintaining and keeping the panels working effectively, then a lease would be ideal because the company that owns the panels is going to take care of all that. One note on this point is that solar panels are actually much more durable than you would think. I have seen 250 pound men that actually jump on the panels and they don't break at all. So while you may be concerned about maintaining uh, the panels over the lifetime of the system, it is something that probably won't come up as much as you would think. And if you're purchasing the panels, you still do get a warranty that's going to cover most issues that you might encounter. Now that you know about the difference between leasing and owning your system, I recommend that you talk to a solar professional like myself and get a very personalized uh, proposal that's going to give you all the information that you need, as well as ex expert recommendations to give you the right equipment, the right financing options, and make sure that you are able to save the most amount of money possible. You can learn more and find out about how much specifically solar can save you by clicking the link down below. As always, this is Kyle, your solar guy, and I hope that you have an incredible rest of your day.